If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So there's a, I don't want to alarm anybody, but now Verizon, AT&T, and pretty much everybody else uh, is experiencing outages. T-Mobile, Verizon, Uh, AT&T. It started with AT&T outages at 4.30 a.m. when they reached their peak, 4.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, But now a lot of outages. So it's Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, Russia, China, China. Uh, outages. I was just going to say, which one's responsible for it, Russia or China? Yeah. Uh, Those are the top trending topics. Somebody's in the grid. (laughs) I don't know. But a lot of people are calling it a cyber attack. I, obviously, I don't have any details at the moment. Um, yeah, and they yeah. have no proof. A lot no. of people calling it a cyber attack. They have no proof that it's that at all. None. But my phone mm-hmm. seems to be working. My phone's okay. working too right yeah. now. Yeah. But Ace is prepared for a cyber attack. You see him sharpening his pencil right now. Oh, all morning. <laughs> I got a pencil. <laughs> he <laughs> loves doing that. Hey, he got like a, his a pencil. <laughs> if it all goes to hell in a handbasket, <laughs> I got, I got, I got six months worth of food, dry, dry storage food stored away at my house. Also, I'm good to go. Yeah. If yeah. you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Exactly, okay? Rob. Thank you. I mean, he's I'm got like any, three new iPhones I'm in his little, house too. Yeah, I'm a little. <laughs> I do have that. I'm a little cash light these days, but other than that, I'm good to go. But, uh, yeah, he's um, he's going. He can use those pencils as a weapon. He yeah. can hunt food with them. You know? Yeah, It'll kill vampires. I got I got guns. Um, I got dry food for everybody. I'm good to go. But yeah, I mean, there it would not surprise. I'm not saying it is, but it would not surprise. I'm not from an enemy. Oh, don't say that. Well, I don't want to deal with that today. I need to take a nap. Because our leaders, you. <laughs> our leaders are not only soft; they're they're against America. So, can we get a ceasefire? Yeah. I don't want to deal with that today. I want to take a nap. Yeah, I've got other yeah. things I need to do. Guys, you can pick this back yeah. up. After Why my can't nap? you be the president, Alexis? Pick up the well, phone and call Russia. Think, and say, hey, Putin. <laughs> look, I need to take a nap today. So yeah. let's. Can we deal with this tomorrow? So well, I think yeah. that is what our president's mainly doing, <laughs> taking naps, zoning out. Wait till somebody know. figures out. It's just this. We had a wire that was out. Yeah. We, had, mm-hmm. we need to replace the batteries, and we're good. There was that story out yesterday. President Biden called Putin um, a crazy SOB. So this might be just like a small retaliatory, retaliatory attack on the United States. So I don't know. <sighs> It's unnerving, though, the fact that all these companies are experiencing outages. But, but maybe it's nothing. With like the exception of Rob, everybody else is still working. Rob has AT&T, yeah. and he said it wasn't working. And he doesn't even make phone calls. How would he know? <laughs> yeah. I could listen to music on the way on my phone. My cell yeah. service was all. Yeah. But he still calls AT&T Ma Bell. So. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what AT&T used to be? It was the uh, Bell, Bell company, and then they had to break it up because of Monopoly. Yeah, oh, the Monopoly, really? yeah. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I remember that. (laughs) Uh, There's a story out. They know exactly what Travis Kelsey gave to Taylor Swift for Valentine's Day. $7,000 on roses. A uh, $1,000 Dior beret. It's a tough look to pull off. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) As long as he's not trying to wear it. (laughs) Yeah. It's tough. It's a a look. And like a bunch of other stuff. They said he spent uh, $15,000 or $16,000 on his gifts for Taylor Swift. Now, how do they know that? I don't know. Unless like a PR person puts yeah, it out. Yeah, a PR form. person did that. Mm-hmm. Look at all these great things. He's perfect, yeah. isn't he? Mm-hmm. I don't care how much money you got. If the other person in the relationship has more money than you do, any, any amount of flowers is not going to impress them. You don't think? No. She looks at that and goes, oh, well, that's, that's so cute. I could have bought 10 times these flowers. Well, she could have done anything. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing he can ever do right. for her then. That That's what I'm saying. That's why he needs to learn to do stuff you can't buy. Like draw like draw her a little drawing of something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a clay pot? <laughs> a little ashtray she can take with her on her private plane? I made you an ashtray. I made you an ashtray. Yep. It has a heart in it. From it has Write a song for her. TNT. TNT. Yeah, write a song for her. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, something about... <laughs> Tells me Travis Kelsey not not <laughs> great with the pen. Uh, I could be totally wrong. I'm sure he's brilliant. Um, so a couple of other things are happening. China announced that San Diego's getting two new pandas. There's no timeline on it, but it's been more than two decades since China has loaned their pandas to somewhere. And it's interesting that they chose San Diego, California. They pulled the pandas out of Washington, D.C. just a few mm-hmm. months ago and are now sending pandas to California. Something to think about. And... Um uh, American veterinarians over there should make sure they do full body scans of those uh, pandas 
to make sure they ain't got no nuclear bombs in them. That's right. Something like that, yeah. I'm with you. A panda bomb. Oh, no. Robot pandas. You don't know, man. Spying on you. You do not know. I love uh, panda meat. It's delicious. Stop. Panda meat. You never eaten at Panda Express? Can't that stuff is great. <laughs> it's tender. It's terrible. It's it's terrible. terrible. Uh, sweet and sour panda. Just terrible. Sesame panda. That's what they sell, <laughs> isn't it? No. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and uh, those are just a few things that are now trending. All right. Uh, to be upfront, honest with you, the next segment is going to come with a very, very serious warning. And a lot of people are not even going to want to hear it. But the ones who do hear it are going to uh, be flabbergasted and talk about it, not just for the rest of the day, but for the rest of your life. Coming up next. Get Ace and TJ anytime, anywhere, at your convenience with the Ace and TJ Show podcast. Available wherever you get podcasts. More Ace and TJ is next. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. All guests of the Ace and TJ show stay at the Hyatt centric Charlotte South Park. Beautiful rooms, incredible dining options. Book your room by calling 980-299-7123. It's the Hyatt-centric Charlotte South Park. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Attention Charlotte, treat yourself to a delicious meal that's made with fresh, seasonal ingredients and ready in just 20 minutes. Enjoy a fine dining experience without ever leaving your home. Head over to tableandtwine.com. From the Calitrin Studios, Calitrin is the safe and effective way to lose weight. Find out more about Calitrin at acetj.com slash weight loss. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, throughout our stellar career as uh, broadcasters of the legendary Ace and TJ show, and we are uh, we are legends. Ask anybody in the business; they'll tell you unless they're liars. Um, we're always honest with you. We tell you um, that we don't have any hidden agenda in anything, and I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to give you a warning. This next uh, this story I'm about to, to tell everybody uh, is meant to shock you. Okay? Most of the time radio people won't say, well, I'm going to do this just to shock you. This is meant to shock you. And if you have a weak stomach or you don't want to deal with anything um, gruesome this, you know, this morning, then you don't want to listen to this. If you're listening uh, on the podcast after it has aired live, you should maybe fast forward if you don't want to hear something gruesome and meant to shock you. But for those of you who you know think you can handle it, then you're going to love it. Can y'all handle it? Does anybody need to leave? No, I'm oh, good. Let's I'm get, get into Let's it. Do it. Okay. A man in Jacksonville, Florida, um, described himself as just feeling off since about October. Um, he couldn't really pinpoint exactly what the feeling was, um, but he finally went to the doctor after his face and lips swelled up on February 9th. So he got to the hospital. He says, uh, quote, I started getting nosebleeds, constant nosebleeds. I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom without my nose starting to bleed. When I went for the examination, the doctor says, uh, wait a minute, I see some movement. Movement. So the doctor 
um, said that when he examined the man's nose with a camera, he discovered dozens and dozens of larvae feeding on the inside of the man's nose and sinus cavity, Dumb. shedding tissue and excrement, which is what spurred the man's inflammation. Dozens and dozens? Dozens and dozens. He said size-wise, there were variations, but the larger ones were as big as the end of his pinky. Ew. Oh. He said there, there were certain larvae, which is the plural of larva, inside the nose that were scurrying around and looking for places to feed and others that had burrowed into the tissue. He tried to remove them at first with a suction, but that wasn't good enough. So then he had to uh, sit down with instruments and pluck them oh. out. He said they did not want to get evicted. So it was a difficult procedure. Had to pluck them. Um, he said they were right up against uh, the patient's, um, the base of his skull, right under the brain. Um, he said, uh, had they gone through that it could have killed him like gone into the brain it, it could have killed him um now you may be saying to yourself how does this happen the man himself the patient said i know that i have to change my lifestyle okay the lifestyle change for him means that when he's fishing, he needs to wash his hands after he handles uh, the dead, rotten fish he uses as bait. Because by doing that and then touching his nose, it caused that to grow in, in his nose. It drew those bugs. So he didn't wash his hands? He said, before I would just rinse my hands in the river. Now I'll use cleaner to do a better job and not touch my nose or my hands. Oh, so he would actually put his hands in the yeah. river water like yeah, Ew, I'm not, but the problem is, is that he had a cancerous tumor removed 30 years ago from his sinus cavity, and okay. that's what allowed the you know the the breeding ground for the okay. for the larvae. Okay, my next question: Who wants to see a picture from the surgery? Yeah, I want to see it. I don't. Oh yeah, I need to, even though I'm going to hate it. Mm -hmm. You rob? Yes or no? No, I'm good. Thank no, me you. too. All right. All right. Hold on. I mean, if everybody's going to look dumb. Oh, my yeah. God. I just saw enough of it. I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm pointing it toward the camera, Ace, so that'll I'm be pointed toward at, you. Yeah. And then, uh, Gross. Yeah. Can you see it, Regan, yep. on the camera? Wait, that, so yeah. that's inside his nasal cavity? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's inside his na nasal cavity, and they're burrowed in there. That is so disgusting. I know. I told you. And he didn't feel them scurrying. He just felt pressure. Yeah, he just said he, <laughs> well, he didn't feel right. Something didn't feel right. <laughs> Something didn't feel <laughs> yeah. right. It was like, it, well, and a lot of them, you know, I think it's, most of them were burrowed, so they weren't moving. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, there's probably so many of them as well. They're all just mm -hmm. you know, attached in there. Ew. I didn't feel 30 bugs in my head. 150. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. 150 uh, larvae. Oh, oh, my God. God. Did they say how long it took to pluck them all out? No. Oh, but it, what a it, dummy. Yeah. And his nose was bleeding because of all the things that they were like mm -hmm. passing passing through mm -hmm. their body. Mm -hmm. uh. He's he nasty. He's like, from now on, I'm going to start using cleaner. It's like, it's called soap. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll start using that stuff that, that cleans your hands. <laughs> so, give it a shot. Where did he live? In Florida? In Florida, yeah. Of course. Mm. 150. So, oh my God. That's gross. Mm. Yeah, it now, is. That's super gross. Is that, would you rather have that problem or have live bugs? Like like roaches or something? No, I'd rather have like the larva, I guess. Those yeah, are the babies, they, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather uh, have the babies well, than and, the adults. And they, in the story, they kept it a little professional and referred to them always as larva or larvae instead of uh, maggots. Oh. Grub worms, grubs, yeah, they're, because that's what <laughs> these maggots are. Grubs. These are more like grubs because they're bigger. I hate the word grub. Well, I'll agree. I'll agree with <laughs> one thing you said a minute ago, TJ. There's no way that if you just heard that, you're not sharing that with somebody. Yeah. You're telling that story to somebody. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you want to see the story, see the pictures. If you're not watching the video, <laughs> then you can get it on uh, the New York Post, nypost.com. Oh, man. Oof. All right. And people go, well, you know, don't you get grossed out? Don't you have a weak stomach? I do with blood. If it's not blood, you're okay and there's it. no blood in this picture that we just saw. It's just grubs in somebody's nose. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good. <laughs> Miss part of the show? Just download it. Get the Ace and TJ podcast on any platform. More of the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show is coming up. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Should you buy? Should you sell? How do I present my house if I do want to sell it? All of those questions can be answered by the experts, and they can take care of you with the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. The Temple Team knows everything there is to know about selling, marketing, and buying houses. So get in touch with them today at acetj.com slash Temple Team. The Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. Our nation's second president, John Adams, always slept on the left side of the bed. He believed this would increase his chances of having positive dreams and a more successful next day. That's why every mattress we sell here at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress includes a left side. And for those that prefer waking up on the right side of the bed, our mattresses come with one of those too. This President's Day, you can save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic sets. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Share Funny is now a little bit extra. Don't miss the Extra Funny podcast live every weekday on the Ace and TJ family app or anytime wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Make sure you got that app, the Ace TJ family app, and um, you're uh, checking out the new stuff that we got come Monday. Come Monday! Two, uh, two new projects. Aces have aces uh, have a new pro, uh, podcast. I have a new podcast. Here we grow again. <laughs> so um, just just more stuff for you to love. That's all it is. Um, now, ever since I was a very young man, because I've had this, I've had the same uh, principles and opinions about things pretty much my entire life. So even when I was a young man, I got called grouchy old man. So now that I'm, uh, I'm a uh, sophisticated, mature gentleman, a.k.a. old at man, I get called uh, grouchy old man all the time. And this is not going to be any different. However, when people uh, call me that, they just chalk everything that I have criticism about up to my being a grouchy old man. They don't have any other arguments against it. They, some of them come back later in life when they've matured and said, you were right all along. Right. Uh, but a lot never do because they, they just can't bring themselves to do it. Um, but this is society proving um, something that I've complained about as being um, detrimental to us all along. There's a 20-year-old woman. Uh, well, first of all, the thing is, is that I always say that people need to have a grasp of the English language. When I speak to young people who want to get into uh, whatever form of uh, entertainment or broadcasting or anything else, have a command of the English language. Don't speak like a child. Sound professional. Use correct grammar. You know, all of these things that people hate to hear because it, it shows them their own inadequacies a lot of times. Um, and I say, don't chalk everything up that's not trendy or current at the time as just being no good. 
And I think with the influx of the, the technology the way it is, once that started just going crazy where you had all of the, the advanced technology we have now, it became the mindset uh, to the generations um, who experienced that, uh, and the mindset became that anything in the past is no good because this is so advanced. This is the now and this is the future. Mm. Well, this um, 20 year old woman had a, a baby girl last month and she wanted to pay tribute to her grandparents that she loved so much. And uh, her grandparents' names are Harvey and Charlotte. So she combined their names and named her little girl Harlot. Harlot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Didn't research that. Uh, no. Uh... Mm -mm. So, um, she said that she had never heard the, the term harlot. She's 20, so. Right, and she should know. You, no, but uh, you people call don't my 20-year-old son right now, he knows what a harlot is. I feel like uh, harlot is like I, a Bible term, too. Well, to be fair, I feel like if you called my 21-year-old son right now, he would not know what a harlot is. Then again, he might not know it's Thursday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. If Might I would not judge be the that. best judge of character. Good, but my I point is, is it. it's not a word that people throw around all the time now. <laughs> yeah. But we, but we have to know things from the past, um, in order in order to guide ourselves through the now. I mean, you know, I, the I, whole I, aspect of something being old, so it's no good. And again, I've been saying that since I was young, and I'm not just saying it because I'm old, and I don't want people to say I'm no good. Yeah, I agree right. with you, TJ. But I think in this case, that word, if it's never been used, like I, you never hear that That's word. That's what I'm saying. Used. It's a very biblical term. I feel like that, but you don't hear it in the everyday yeah, living I think of life. In, <laughs> I can see how she can make this mistake. I, uh, I'm not saying she shouldn't know the word, but I can see how this mistake can happen because if you just never heard that word, you're just totally unfamiliar with it. You wouldn't know. I don't think I've heard all the mm -hmm. English words that there ever are. No. <laughs> Judging by that sentence, it's clear. I've never heard all the English <laughs> words that there ever <laughs> that are. Ever are, are have what, existed. Do you, what do you think of this, Rudy? I kind of the agree. The two teenagers are weighing in on it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> do you is, agree with all of it? Too? Yeah, I mean, I was trying to replace uh, it with another word like tart. Like, that might be one that's even more obscure than harlot. I, I would want to know that at 20, though. If I'm if, if raising yeah. a child, I would probably want to have a good grasp of a lot of oh. words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel bad yeah. though. That's terrible. So now her, um, it says her husband wants to change the child's name. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, that means he didn't know it either That's until true. now. Well, sure, they're nineteen, year, twenty years old. I know yeah. those are adults. They should know things. If they're having a baby and they're naming it something, shouldn't they at least know what the name means? Or what, if there's ever been a word, shouldn't they tell somebody? You know, talk to their uh, older family members and have a family member yes. go. I mean, I. I that's what I was going to say. I ran into somebody one time that was going to name their child Tyranny, and I had to explain what Tyranny is. Yes. That's and it was tyranny. like they yeah. should, at the very least, they should have Googled it, or they mentioned it to somebody, an adult, somebody older mm -hmm. than them who goes, who would be able to help them with that. I agree but with you're that. Not 100%. talking to older people when you're no farther away in, than your phone or your um, your uh, device. You're not. You know, you're avoiding people on purpose, and this is how this stuff happens. You avoid your older family members or your old older people. You don't want to listen to anybody. You don't go out and associate with people. You don't. You're never in a position where an older person is in the room talking, or you're overhearing an older person at the next table at a restaurant. I mean, it's just all it builds up, and the next thing you know, you've given your daughter um, a name of a uh, making her seem like she's not so um, chaste. I go look that one up too. Yeah, that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a radio show, it's a podcast, and it's a TV show. A TV show. Watch the Ace and TJ show anytime. Just search for Ace TJ TV on YouTube. More of the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show is coming up. Back again with our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Now, uh, Richard, tell us about this cash out equity thing, instant cash, add water, and there it is. It is. It, 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 that's how it is. Instant <laughs> equity. I mean, you, you do the application today. You could close today and get your money in five days. There's no underwriting. There's no appraisal. 
you know, I think somebody went, didn't you do something like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly yeah. what I did. It's, <laughs> it's very easy. And Richard yeah. walks you through the process. Find out more at homewithrichard.com. It's a new year, which means new you. No, not if you've got nagging pain. That means we want old you, old you before you had that pain. And it's possible without surgery, without medication, without downtime. Thanks to Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. I am a Neogenics client. I am a Neogenics lover because they fixed my left wrist. And you can get a free consultation right now. Call 704-727-6551 or online at acetj.com slash Neogenics, N-E-O-G-N-I-X. Bradham Brothers offers heating, air, and electrical installation and service that you can trust. Their family business has served thousands of customers with honesty and a smile for over 50 years. Go to bradhambrothers.com to schedule service or a free estimate today. Great food, great drinks, great service, and great atmosphere. You can find them all at one place. Fahrenheit on South Caldwell in Uptown Charlotte, 21 stories above the city. Get details and make reservations at acetj.com slash Fahrenheit. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a tj.com slash culvers as a proven leader in managed it services compucom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today they'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey it's all at compucom go to compucom.com to find out more create an unforgettable experience with the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com weddings banquets shows expos They do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. And this is just a a quick little um, little, uh, bolo for Ace. Bolo means be on the lookout. All right. Because we know how you love... Um, room service. Yep. You got to be careful um, because a hotel guest ordered room service, paid $20 for the hotel's Cazzo e Pepe. Cazzo e Pepe. Hmm? What? Cazzo e Pepe. Cazzo e Pepe. That's what I said. Cazzo e Pepe. I don't know what that is. Cazzo e Pepe. Okay. It means uh, cheese and pepper. Okay. Italian dish. Sounds good. So she paid 20 bucks for this, and then later she was at uh, Trader Joe's when she got home and saw it in the frozen section, <laughs> the same exact. <laughs> Cacho de Pepe. Like what, four bucks? Yeah. Seven bucks, something like that, yeah. Yikes. <laughs> but I think that's one of the laziest Italian dishes there is. Oh, it's so good. I know, but it's just cheese, spaghetti with cheese and pepper. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean it's not good, but, you know, usually when you think about authentic Italian food, it's got so much that goes into it and the, and the love and the sauce and the, you know, whatever. They're just like, yeah, cook some spaghetti, grate up some, um, some Parmesan and possibly some uh, Romano and then just put black pepper in it. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to make it one time. It ain't easy. Oh, come on, Rob. How could it not be easy if it's That's just, all it I is. don't know what it is, but if it's just spaghetti with some, some I mean, grated cheese on there's, it. So, there's a little more to it. If you, <laughs> <laughs> What more is there to it, Rob? Uh, the way you cook it, you got you to gotta be exact. <laughs> with what? <laughs> the cheese and the pepper. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It I mean, didn't turn out well for me is all I'm getting at. Okay. Well, I mean, it's hard, hard to do it in an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Almost impossible, I would think. <laughs> You're doing, these are a crock pot. It's <laughs> difficult to make it work. Cazzo de Pepe. This is the Ace and TJ Show. <laughs> uh, everything you need to know coming up in Now Trending. Live on your radio and anytime you want on the Ace and TJ family app or wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show.